Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn and understand what are Ansible playbooks and we are going to see some playbook examples. We are also going to see and understand the different sections and different parameters of our Ansible playbook. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and if you are a complete beginner it will help you understand the playbook, the different sections and parameters and after this video you will be able to understand any Ansible playbook. So that's my promise and let's get started. So before starting uh, we have already seen that the system where we install Ansible is called as a Ansible controller. So let's say you installed Ansible on your system so your system will become an Ansible controller machine and then this machine will be used to control some other host machines or some other servers which we call as Ansible hosts. So from this Ansible controller we can control and uh, manage multiple host machines and to connect to the host machines we use SSH in Ansible mostly and then to manage these Ansible hosts we use two files on the Ansible controller there is a host file in the host file we have information about the hosts that is their IP addresses or domain names so that we know what are the hosts we have to connect to and then a playbook file where we have the instructions or the tasks that we have to run on the host machines. So Ansible controller has two uh, these two files hosts and playbook and playbook is the file which has all the instructions that we will, will be executed on the host machines. So here Ansible playbooks are the core building blocks of Ansible automation and these are YAML files. We create playbooks in YAML syntax where we define all the instructions, tasks, configurations that we have to run so that we can apply these, run this on the host machine and manage the host machines. And here these configurations or, or this particular file which has all these tasks and configuration provide a way to execute all the complex tasks with multiple steps and conditions on one or multiple host machines. So this is the main advantage that in a playbook we can give instructions and we can also say what all hosts we have to run these instructions on. So with a single run of the playbook we can control multiple host machines. And these are in YAML format. YAML stands for YAML int markup language and it's a human readable language to represent data. So if you want to learn more about YAML, you can separately look into it. But just for now, playbooks are YAML files or we have this the syntax in YAML format. So if you want, you can take a screenshot of this screen. And now let us go and see some sample playbooks. So this is a very, very simple basic playbook where we are uh, printing the message hello world on the host machine. And if you see here, we start with these three dashes or three hyphens then we give the name of the playbook whatever name you want to give it to which is optional name is optional here then we give the host that is the machine or the server where we want to run this playbook now if you want to run this on the same machine like your local machine where from where you are running the playbook the same machine you can say local host that means it will run on the same machine and if you have some other remote hosts you can give the group name or the host name and this will be if you are running if you are giving some uh, host name here that will be taken from the host file which I will show you in a moment but in this particular example we are running it on the same machine then we have the task list here again we start with the name of the task which is optional here it says print a message then the module name it is debug here then exactly what we have to run so here we are running message hello world we are printing it so we are running this command which will print the message hello world so this is a very basic playbook file. Now this playbook file has three main sections name, host and task. So this is the name then host and the task. So this three dashes that you see at the top beginning of the file this is a YAML delimiter and it indicates that this is this file is a YAML document. So we will know that or the machine will know that this is going to be a YAML format or a YAML document. Then the name section is a descriptive name of the playbook which is optional. If you want you can give a name to the playbook. The hosts section here specifies the target host as I just told you and the tasks section 
has the actual tasks that we have to perform or to we have to execute on the host machines okay so this is a very very simple playbook example let us now see a little more complex playbook here you can see this playbook has the name install apache web server so just by looking at the name we know that this playbook is to install apache web server and here you can see we have the hosts that is web servers so here we will be having a host file created separately and here in the host file we can give the ips or the domain names of all the servers or all the host machines that we have to manage and we can create groups like this so we can give the a group name within square brackets and we can have one or multiple host machines here so when we say web server here in the hosts section so all the hosts which are under this particular group this playbook will run on all these host machines okay so let us see step by step here this the name which is here this name this is the name of the playbook which is optional then the hosts web server these are the host machines that the playbook will run on and here we have given the group web servers which will be referred from the host files here this is the host file then become yes this one this tells sensible to use sudo to give extra privileges to the command we are running and this will be uh, this will vary based on the operating system or the host operating system we want to run this on then we come to the task and we can have one or multiple tasks here so this is a section which will list all your tasks the first task we have is install apache so this is the name of the task which is optional then we have the module name which is yum and this is the uh, this is used to install packages on the target host and this is because the target host must be a red hat or a CentOS based Linux system therefore we use yum there if it is a different Debian based Linux, Linux system we can use apt-get there or based on the operating system of your host machine this will vary then again the name of the uh, package to be installed here this is the name of the package that will be installed and state present means the package should be installed if it is not already installed or if it is not already present again then this is the second task start apache and here the service the module is service this is used to manage the services on the host machine and the service name is httpd which is the apache web server and then we say state started that means this specifies that the service should be started so when we run this playbook it will check if it is not started it will start it and then enabled true means it makes sure that the service is set to start automatically when the system boots up so it will make the necessary changes so that whenever this system boots up it will automatically start the apache web server okay so this is the different parameters and the different uh, sections of this playbook if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and then some very quick tips if you have installed ansible on your system you can create a playbook and you can go to the folder of the playbook so if i show you my system here i have created a linux system and i have installed ansible there and if i see i have some playbooks here you can also copy the uh, playbooks from online you can take some sample playbooks and add it here so if i show you this hello world playbook so here i said this is a centos linux system i am saying cat and h-e-l-l -L and press tab so that it will auto complete and hit enter you can see this is my hello world playbook which is simply printing the message hello world and it says hosts all that means if there is a host file it will run on all those host machines which are present in the host file then if i say cat uh, playbook 1.yml which is this one here you can see this is the playbook which is installing apache web server the example that we just saw now and this is the this is running on the hosts web server and you can see all these options that we have already seen and if i uh, as of now i don't have a host uh, file created otherwise i can also create a host file and give the details of the hosts 
so if I now run the command ansible playbook I can say ansible playbook I can press tab and auto complete the command as well and then if I say hyphen h or hyphen hyphen help I can see all the subcommands, all the options that I can use with this command so you can see I can uh, use hyphen hyphen check or hyphen capital C to uh, check the playbook I can use syntax check to perform a syntax check on the playbook I can say hyphen hyphen step to confirm each task and run one step at a time I can say list hosts to output a list of matching hosts that will run on that will be uh, that this playbook will get executed on we can say list tasks so there are a lot of options here and you can check and try out some of these so if I uh, say again let me see all these playbooks are here and if I say hyphen hyphen check this will execute a dry run on the playbook without running it actually on the host machine so if I say ansible hyphen playbook I am pressing tab to auto complete uh, let me go to a new line so it is easy for you to see it ansible hyphen playbook and I can say hyphen hyphen check and give some playbook name let's say uh, playbook1.yml and hit enter so you can see it is doing a dry run it is saying no host matched and we can see if it is all fine so this will be a good option then we can also use a syntax check we can say hyphen hyphen syntax check on the playbook so I can say ansible playbook and I can give this option after giving the playbook name as well so I am first giving the playbook name and then I am saying hyphen hyphen syntax hyphen check so if I run this it will do a syntax check on the playbook and you can see the it we have got a warning that it could not match the supplied host pattern ignoring web servers so because we have not yet created the host file having this group web servers that is why we are getting this warning here then uh, we can also say list task in the playbook so I can say ansible playbook I am using playbook 1 and I am saying hyphen hyphen list tasks so it is uh, listing all the tasks so here you can see it is saying install Apache web server this is the playbook name then the task we have is install Apache and start Apache so these are the two tasks we have here and we can also list out hosts I can say list hosts so you can see as of now we do have not given any host therefore it is giving us this warning okay so these are all the different options you can use you can just run the help command and see all the different options we can use and then this will be very handy I hope this was very useful for you you can try out some more examples from online and uh, see if you now understand the ansible playbooks when we do more practicals and hands-on in the coming sessions you will get a better understanding of how these playbooks are executed and what all we can do I hope this was very useful. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.